Hey guys, it's Marek from Free Magic Live. Today I want to talk to you about how to enhance your reactions from your spectators. All right guys, we're out here in my backyard again in the valley. We're in a nice alleyway. You can see all the bands that are going to be performing. And what I really wanted to talk to you guys about today is how to get that reaction that you're wanting from your audience, how to get them to freak out, how to get that big wow moment from your spectators, as opposed to the, oh, that was cool. No, 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 you want that big reaction from your spectators. And I've been doing magic now for six years and I can't, I couldn't tell you for certain what is the one way to accomplish that, but for me personally, I know it really boils down to understanding the trick you're performing, really refining it down to a point but you know everything there is to know about that trick, how it reads with spectators, um, what's the best handling for that trick, which slights work best with it. And one thing that many people I don't think pay too much attention to is, does this trick fit into my style of performance? Like my style, for example, I'm very show-offy, you know, I'm young, I do a lot of stuff with cards, really stuff that looks really elaborate. So if I sat someone down and tried to do something really magical like Chris Angeli, it wouldn't fit, it, there would be a disconnection there, it's not congruent. So, if, but if I'm doing a trick involving like a gambling routine or finding the aces, something that fits my style, I find I get much better reactions from that. And that's not to say don't do those tricks that are commonly more magical, it just means work the pattern, rework the handling, find a way that makes it fit into your style the best. And once you start doing this guys, you'll notice the reactions you're gonna get from your spectators is just gonna go through the roof. I'll give you an example, I did a trick once where, and I was doing it for years, where the card would appear in an impossible location, like inside a picture frame or on a clock or just like somewhere else in the room that you wouldn't expect. Um, and it, I wasn't getting the reactions. Like, this is amazing. The trick's appearing over there. How are they not freaking out? It's because it was too impossible. I was doing stuff with sleight of hand and this was just out of the ordinary. So what I started doing is I started putting the card in my pocket, didn't quite get it, but then I came up with an idea. I started pinning it to my lapel, and pinning it to my lapel made it impossible enough. It was impossible enough to get that reaction. All of a sudden, people started freaking out, because in their mind, it was no longer a magic trick. It was like, how the hell did he get it to his lapel without me seeing? And that's where the reaction came from. And so what it really boils down to is find the trick that you like performing and mold it to fit your style of performance. You guys will have all kinds of different styles. Some of you might be mentalists. Some of you guys might like the Chris Angel look. Take the tricks that you love performing and mold them into those styles. And you'll, you'll see straight away, the reactions will just start going up much more consistently. But anyway, that's it from me. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that information. I hope it helps some of you. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, if you guys want any more advice, put it down in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer it myself. But in the meantime, Go on to our website, freemagiclive.com, for more content.